Hi everyone. Um, so I am in a really hard place in my life right now. Um, and I wanted to just make this video. I'm going to be reading a little bit from this badass habits by Jen Sincero. Um, I have all three of, I have, I don't know if it's all of them, but I have the, you are a badass, you're a badass at making money. And now I have this one. Um, and I've read part of you are a badass, but not all of it. Anyway, so, um, I coach a swim team right now and every single day is a struggle for me to get up and actually want to go. Um, I feel like I'm just trying to get by and it's the worst feeling ever. I'm not taking good care of myself. Uh, I'm not feeling my best. My body hurts. I'm tired. I'm not eating right. And it's just, it's a really, it's a really hard time right now. And it sucks because usually in the summer, at least the weather and the, the sun and all of that kind of helps me. But anyway, I'm in a great relationship. I love my boyfriend. He's amazing. Um, and I have a lot of other strong friendships and whatnot in my life. Not a lot, but, you know, quality friendships that really mean a lot to me. So I know that the issue is with me. Anyway, so I read a couple pages of this book um, already, just the intro. And I, I want to just highlight the um, most important sentence from that I read just from those few pages and then I'm going to read a little bit about um read a little bit farther into the book so this says that when it comes to building great habits and ditching lousy ones your commitment to staying focused on who you're becoming regardless of where you are or who, or who you are right now is the mightiest power you've got and I feel that's a very strong statement. Um, I've always, when it comes to changing your lifestyle, um, whether that's what you eat or how much you exercise or working on your mindset, um, it's co uh, consistency is the most important part. Um, and staying com consistency requires you to stay committed. Um, and there was something else I was just about to say. Um, oh, that big, one of the biggest things that I've learned and I work on this every day with myself is to love yourself no matter what stage you're at. You could be, you know, let's say you want to be some, your goal weight is losing 60 pounds. Well, every single pound up until that goal weight you have to find it in yourself to see the beauty in yourself love yourself um, forgive yourself for things that you uh, decisions you might have made or um, you know if you've messed up on your your plan or whatever because you're not perfect and I'm really working on not being as hard on myself um, and trying to love myself in every stage and it's really hard um it's like incredibly hard because I beat myself up all the time so um I'm just gonna read a little bit about so this is still actually the introduction um so this is Jen Sincero's words contrary to popular belief habits are more about who you're being than what you're doing one of the main reasons we don't stick to the habits we love to adopt or permanently give the heave ho or permanently give the heave ho to the habits we'd love to lose is be, is that we focus on taking action which is important but we don't get on board emotionally and mentally which is which is more important. I'm having trouble reading today. Um <laughs> see if I improve. Um then, when our new habits get challenging or boring, a favorite pastime of most habits thanks to the fact that they're so repetitive, we abandon them for something easier or something more fun or something that offers more immediate gratification or something that tastes really good with ketchup on it. 
For example, let's say you've tried over and over to break your habit of spending more than you make. You've got a well-paying job and you put part of each paycheck towards your credit card bill and a little into your savings account and then you carefully map out your budget each month. Then, in spite of your careful planning, you find yourself going on trips and frantically investigating furniture sales and jovially shouting, drinks are on me, and before you know it, your savings account is a ghost town and you're, you're pleading on the phone with Pat at the collection agency again. Chances are excellent that deep down you're scared to stop overspending because you're trying to fill an emotional hole with stuff and experiences. Or maybe you come from a family full of spenders and you subconsciously worry that you'll be judged and or abandoned by them if you break with tradition and get your financial act together. It's essential when building good habits to focus on the whole enchilada, your heart, your head, your heart, and your hands. Otherwise, the mediating stops. The fingernails start being bitten again. Your calm, sober response that yet another passive-aggressive family gathering turns into an all right, I've had enough. Who wants to play tequila, truth, or dare? My hope is that this book offers some fresh perspectives on proven habit-forming processes and helps you dethrone whatever obstacles you've allowed to lord over you in the past. I also hope that it makes the whole habit building and busting experience easier by boiling down a seemingly complex process and doling it out into a manage- manageable bite-sized exercises that you implement one day at a time. I want you to get rolling and figure out which tools work best for you so you can start seeing real results, the kind of results you've had yet to behold, that actually stick around. I'm a coach, not a scientist, so when in, in smartening you is a goal, nothing gets me all teary-eyed and v- verklempt don't know that word like the hallelujah of a dream realized you see you see that black belt you just karate your way into you did that here hold my snacks i've got to get a picture of this i really like how she writes um i find myself like kind of smiling and whatnot she's kind of funny and it's it feels you really get her her voice and who she is out of her writing and it feels very relatable um, another thing that this reminds me of that I've learned and something that it's hard because I don't put it to use, but I know that it's true and I've done it before. I've just had trouble doing it consistently is think about like, okay, I'll say it first and then I'll try to explain it. But basically once you do something hard enough times, doing something hard becomes easy. And it's not that the actual thing that you're doing is easy, but getting yourself to do it becomes easier because you get accustomed to getting yourself out of your comfort zone and pushing yourself. So for example, I would love, love to get up even 30, 45 minutes earlier each day and go down. I live in an apartment in an apartment now and there's a small little gym downstairs and it's got like a treadmill and a few things it's nothing crazy but I would love to wake up 30 45 minutes earlier and go down there and walk even walk on the treadmill every morning or three four days a week um and every day sleep is more important I prioritize prioritize sleep over that even though most days if I don't on the the few the little bit of time I have off, I uh, sleep during the day and I don't love that, but like I wake up looking forward to napping, which is a horrible feeling. I hate that. Um, So if I were to even start with one day a week or two days a week for 20 minutes going down there and walking before I leave, I'm sure that the difficulty in getting myself up out of bed and going downstairs would that difficulty actually getting up would get easier over time until it becomes a habit which I'm sure will be touched on in this book so anyway I think I'm going to read a little bit more but I already find myself relating to this book so I hope that this is helpful to you as well I'll start by briefly explaining what habits are and how they work. I'll help you become aware of the habits you've already got, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and figure out which ones have got to go, which new ones you'd like to create, and who you need to start being in order to pull this all off. I'll also get you good at setting no-nonsense boundaries so you can alert your tribe and yourself that your needs are now a priority, that you're creating the space, um, space emotionally and physically to allow yourself to fully flourish, and that yes, this being good at setting boundaries thing is a habit you're going to 
keep, perhaps amid the indignant screams and protests of all those who are being booted out of first place. So I'm going to pause again. Um, if this is something that people watch and, and get something out of, um, if you have any feedback, I know I stop a lot to talk, but um, I think that's what I'm going to do for now because that's what feels best. But so for me, like I, my life right now is coaching during the week and then on the weekends I'm either here with my boyfriend or I go to his place and sometimes we do like it's not like I only hang out with him but that's in general what I do and I've been recently making poor decisions to myself how I how I'm treating my body and how I'm not respecting myself when it comes to I'm overeating, I'm eating bad things, I'm eating things that don't make me feel good, I'm not stretching, I'm, um, we've been getting on a whole edibles kick because, well, no specific reason, but I stopped drinking alcohol, like, it's been like a month and a half, two months now, about two months, and I didn't stop for good, but I'm stopping for a while because I just, that's a huge deal for me, just is that I stopped, um, so, Um, anyway, I'm kind of filling a void by eating edibles and then I get the munchie. So to say I eat so much stuff, it's so bad. And then the next day I wake up and I'm not feeling good. And my boyfriend, he, he works differently. Our brains work differently. We're different people. And that's obviously 1000%. Okay. That's how life is, but he can have a weekend like that. Like this is insane but we did edibles like three nights out of the four nights we wait three nights out of the four nights we were together over the holiday weekend and um he can bounce back from that he can eat all the crap and you know wake up on well this week tuesday morning and go to work and um he can wake up in the mornings and go work out at 5 a.m. this week. He can, you know, like for me, it affects my brain so much worse just because I, my brain doesn't work the same and my brain doesn't produce the chemicals, some of the chemicals it needs to. I suffer with like very severe depression that has completely taken over my life for so long. So for me, it's different. And I'm not setting a boundary in the respect that I am need to set a boundary more to say, okay, I'm not going to do this three nights in a row, even though if it sounds really fun and awesome and we have a great time, you know, I need to like make some sacrifices and set those boundaries. Um, so I know that it helps me to kind of talk about these things and I'm hoping that if you're still watching if anyone's watching, um, these, these things can kind of help you and maybe you can relate to some of this kind of stuff because you're not alone. Um, and I, it's been a while now since I've kind of gotten over the whole, like, well, it's been years since I like used to say like, Oh, I don't have a problem, but it's been more recently the past few years where I've really opened up about it and really started to talk. And so I think that that is what's most important is to talk about things, create awareness, create a community where people can feel good to just talk about things that are hard to talk about. Um, Because I've got a lot of things I could talk about that are very hard to talk about. So that can be kind of a cool little uh, community here, I guess. But anyway, so I think for now I'm going to be done. I'm going to see how this video kind of goes if anyone likes it um I don't really have time right now to like do any major editing especially because I really don't know much about editing and I really would like to get more into that but I got this cool little microphone so anyway um I hope that you got something out of this video I talked a little bit louder than I thought I would but I hope it was somewhat relaxing you got something out of it and um yeah I will see you again soon